everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about feasibility study in the subject of software engineering so in the previous video as i told uh, we have learned about the requirement engineering process and what are the different steps we have in that so in that the first step is the feasibility studies and let's see what happens in the feasibility study feasibility study or studies whatever so let's see what happens in this step what what different things we discover and all so let's get into the video first of all as we all know we have four steps in that four steps the first one is the feasibility study so this is basically the step one in the requirement engineering process okay so this is the starting point of the requirement engineering process and it will determine if if at all the proposed software project whether it is possible to do or not and whether it is worth doing or not both te technically and economically so that means let's say you are doing a project and whether that project is really worth it or not okay let's say you're spending some 100 hours of time on that and let's say you're spending some 1 lakh rupees on that project then it will determine whether it is really worth of spending this much of time and this much of money or whatever what all you spend on that whether it is worth it or not and also whether it is really possible or not first of all can we do it or not that is also determined by the feasibility study itself okay both technically and economically i'll tell you what that is so it will assess different different kinds of feasibilities in that the first one is the technical feasibility that means can we actually build it can we build it or not so this is the technical feasibility and coming to the economical feasibility should we actually build it whether it is worth it or not it is it really needed or not okay all these things are assessed in the economical feasibility and the next one is the operational feasibility in operational feasibility it will check whether it will be accepted or not or let's say whether the customers will accept it or not whether the customers will like it or not all those are determined in this operational feasibility okay and now let's see what are the different steps involved in this feasibility study first one you have to understand the scope of the project okay what your project will do what is the scope of the project you know what is project scope right you have to first understand that next you have to come up with all the possible solutions what all possible solutions can be done you need to come up with all those solutions and in that for each and every solution let's say here you came up with three solutions for a given problem so for each and every solution you have to analyze the feasibility all the feasibilities technical economical whatever whatever feasibilities you have you have to assess or analyze all the feasibilities then you have to evaluate the cost and also timeline for each and every solution for solution one how much time and how much cost for solution two same for each and every solution how much is the cost and what is the time required that you have to analyze or evaluate next you have to evaluate what are the risks associated let's say you go with solution one then what could be the possible risks if let's say you go with solution two then what could be the possible risks like that you have to evaluate all the risks and in the last you have to come up with the most feasible solution based on um, the cost based on the timeline based on the risks so after evaluating all these things you have to come up with the most feasible solution that means most easier most not easier but most reliable or whatever you know most worth it solution that's why the word feasible says okay so this is what will happen uh, these are the different steps that you have in the uh, feasibility study so now who will do this feasibility study everybody will be almost everybody will be involved in the feasibility study like starting from the project manager the system architect system architect is somebody who who will define how your system should look technically like how your uh, what what front end you will be using what front end tools and all and in the back end what exactly happens all those high level architecture work will be done by the system architect and then the business analyst the end users end users are nothing but you know right customers and the legal team they should check whether everything is good legally or not okay i'll in the last i'll explain with an example let's take a real time use case and let's try to understand with that don't worry okay and the qa team qa team is nothing but the quality assurance team in simple you can say the testing team also and the financial team everybody ev almost everybody who is involved with that project will be taking care of this feasibility study process okay next what will be the output or outcome of this step 
so in the end you will get a feasibility report you will get a report and that report is called feasibility report and this feasibility report will have all the estimated costs and also the timelines okay how much cost it will take estimations all like for for um recruiting people how many how much cost it will be for technical uh, softwares and all how much cost it will be for renting out a location how much it will everything all this will be mentioned in the cost and what would be the timeline okay and also it will have all the risks and how to mitigate those risks that means let's say you have a problem you have a risks how will you solve this risk how will you uh, figure out a solution for this risk that is nothing but the mitigation strategies so all the risks and also what are its mitigation strategies and the final recommendations whether it is a go or a no not no go that means whether you do it or you don't do it you have to do it or you don't do it okay all these things will be mentioned in the feasibility report so basically feasibility report is nothing but it is an outcome of the feasibility study and it will have the cost timelines risks its mitigation strategies and the final recommendation okay now last let's see an example okay so this example like real time use case let's uh, think in that way okay okay you have a uh, online website and you want personalized recommendations to the user perfect example is any of the e-commerce websites like you take amazon you take flipkart or whatever online uh, ordering websites so whenever you open the website it has to show you your personalized recommendations like based on what you have purchased earlier or based on what you are searching or based on what your interests are it has to show you your personalized items to buy okay so now let's see how feasibility study will be conducted for this kind of application first technical technical means what technically what do you know what do you need you need ml to do this so you need people who know machine learning you need people who are skilled in machine learning to implement this kind of website so technically you need people with machine learning capabilities okay so do we have that do we have people with machine learning capabilities next economic economically do we have cost to implement this and also because of this will the sales increase or will the customers increase will there be any economic profit because of this new implementation okay and the next one is operational operational means right now you already have your website you just want to bring a new feature into your website whether the your existing website will it be able to accept it will be will it be able to accommodate this new feature or not that is the operational feasibility next schedule schedule or timeline like uh before so and so date can this be done let's say you have some holiday season before the holiday season can we implement this or not why because in ho in holiday season there is a lot of probability that people will be uh, using your website more right so if you can do it by the holiday season it will be little bit helpful for you and legal so whether this will comply with the legal terms like uh, the data privacy of the customers and all the legally everything we will be legally correct or not so that we don't get any problems in the later point of time so all these things will be assessed based on this example okay so this is about feasibility study it's a very simple concept i know it's a lot of theory but the subject is like that we can't do anything so this is all for this video guys let's meet up soon in the next coming video with a step 2 Thanks for watching the video till the end.